your host, that Cynthia, my producer, and we got the whole squad in this bitch. What's up? <laughs> so check it out. I want to get into a segment today. It is called What's Tea? This is the segment where I spill my own tea. I have a story for you guys. And Cynthia, you know this story. Yes, I lived through it. This is something that's normal for me. Other people would say this is crazy. But for me, it's just everyday life. It was like a random beautiful morning. T called It was me. really beautiful that She's morning. She's like, bitch, what you doing? That's I was time. outside my boyfriend at the time's house. It was the middle of the day. I was just outside his house in my car. Nothing crazy. Not literally, this is what happened. I saw a counter on this girl's story. So I'm thinking, you know, the counter on the story of the liquor bottle she posted looking like the counter of my man's counter. And I was just like, I need to put these two and two together. It's not, I need to pull up. Because if she posted that then, she might be there now. And it's daytime, but whatever. Because, you I'm, know, a story's only up for 24 hours. So the bitch could still be She could have still been at the crib. Yeah. So I'm still, I'm chilling, waiting for a moment. I said, Lord Jesus, bring her outside. You bring her outside because I'm going to send her I'm send her where she need to go. So this is this is what T decided to do. She said I'm going to door dash a water bottle to the crib and see if she can open the door. Nobody answered the door. So then I was like maybe the postmate lady didn't ring the doorbell. So I tell Cynthia I'm, I'm heated at this point. I tell Cynthia I got out my car set. At this point bitch I'm on foot. I'm on foot. I'm walking up to the crib. I'm like let me see what's going on. I'm like, damn, really ain't nobody here. But then I was like, I called him and I was like, hey, I got to go to the bathroom. And he was like, where you at? And I was like, I'm by, I'm by your house. I'm right by your house. So can I use your restroom? And he was like, okay, I'm not home, but like my dad's home. And I was like, all right. So then uh, I went to the bathroom. Then I was like, I want to go look at that counter and make sure I'm not tripping, right? So I went and looked at the counter and yeah, there was no, that counter, I was so off. No the choice. granite was completely different than yeah. the bitch's granite yeah. on the Instagram story. Yeah. So I put shit. This is not that crazy. I've done worse. And you know, Cynthia, you're a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. And yeah. I I think that like can get crazy sometimes, but also we're mm. balanced too. So yeah. even though we're crazy, there is like a symmetry there of, you know, normalization. We like, pull ourselves you know. back. Yeah. So yeah. you mm -hmm. helped me. You you gave me the insight that I needed because it was like after all that happened, it was like, look at you. You right. was tripping. We was on the phone all morning. It's a beautiful yeah. day. Yeah. You went over there to get a water bottle. Yeah. You're like, no, we're not doing that again. Like that's what friendship mm -hmm. is about. We're supposed to be there for each other yeah and all the shenanigans now let's be there for the tea cups mm -hmm. y'all be asking advice and i got the tea tips for you number one how do you keep your man satisfied without sex that's like the best way i mean okay so you have to speak life into your man yes right but this the, be his friend yeah all that cute whatever but satisfied okay. of course they we have we we have a lot of things to offer obviously look around mm -hmm. that's not the question the question is how do you keep them satisfied other than sex. So let's just, we'll just add the. <laughs> but Amber, how can you satisfy a man without sex? Well, we got Make some here. money. We got mad men here. What, what can we do to satisfy y'all other than fuck y'all? No. Okay, okay so, I feel so you. So the things are, so the ways that <laughs> so you can satisfy your man without sex are companionship, companionship. friendship, cleanliness, helping out like a partner, and Teamwork. feeding him and making money. That's that T-tip. I don't know. Yeah. That helped y'all. We tried. <laughs> Shit, we need help our damn self. Me and Cynthia are going through it over here. Know, we the wrong right? people to ask. Y'all heard okay? it. We on foot. We, know, we on foot. We fucking. All yeah. right? No. <laughs> I'm dead. Pull up with the dick. Like, pull, uh, I pull up with the pussy. Like, yeah. what's good? like this is what I got, guy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you need help. Yeah. Oh, you want me to clean? <sighs> Emotions? You want a conversation? <sighs> Talking? I talk to my friends all day. Ooh, right. What do I want to talk to you about? <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, number two. Yeah. What is the most difficult part of doing your podcast? For me, I think it's the the time frame. Yeah. You know, we do and and is this putting out too much tea? But we do five episodes, four episodes in a day. It's like trying to knock them out and be on time and mm -hmm. be ready and change the mm -hmm. outfit, change the hair and. You know, everyone's doing this all day. It's it it could be time consuming, it could be tiring. It yeah. you know, things happen on set. You never know what the fuck is gonna happen. People don't show up, your dress fall off, you spill concealer over the way ever all the damn place. You know, things happen, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's just 
the time crunch, I feel like that's kind of di- the difficult part of this, yeah. I think. This is only our third shoot date, and we really, we all really doing it. And we got some new faces and some new people in here, and everybody's just working together. That's, I don't know if it, the word would be difficult, right? For me, I guess, I guess the most difficult thing is it's like, I know we're just getting started, but like we're falling into magic and we're making some yeah. gold. Each time we have more crew, each time we yeah. have, you know, it's getting more and more. So I guess the difficult part is just waiting until like... Staying in the moment with it. Yeah. yeah. Y'all like it now, you know? Like, right. sh- shit, this is our third round of shooting. But right. Like, wait till we doing it a year, you know? Exactly. We're and like- it's just going to get better and better the more we keep going. And uh, I just want to also say too, if anybody is looking for some sponsorships or any companies that want to be involved on Hot Tea, email below. If you want a brand that you want to advertise, email below. If you want to go and take me on a date, email below. (laughs) Don't do that. Do not waste my management's time. (laughs) Just kidding. Let's not. Okay, number three. What's your unpopular opinion on relationships? Oh. The one that is the most, you know, like predominant, that's like at the top of my mind, Mm -hmm. is how open we are to like having multiple baby fathers. Yes, I really like, like that's an actual conversation. Yes, like we're like, hmm, hmm, him, maybe him, yeah. sure. And it's a couple dudes I like, I'd like to have babies with. I, you know, I want to mix my genes, you know, <laughs> like jambalaya, like, jambalaya. Yeah, like mm-hmm. everybody, like, you know, oh, you got a baby with him, one might come out tall, be an athlete, you have a baby with somebody else. I, know, I went like important. all colors of children. Yeah. Ideally, I would like to have a monogamous relationship, but at the same time, I'm also going to be realistic about whatever comes my way. I could be in a monogamous relationship, be married for five years, and then it just doesn't work out for whatever reason, and mm-hmm. then I marry somebody else and have another kid you know mm-hmm. with them too so it's like it can go either way all i'm saying is that for me i'm open to it i'm never like oh no I, it has to be like this i would i have a specific goal and dream yes but mm-hmm. if it doesn't go that way i'm open to to expanding my family and expanding you know my yeah. much my, my baby daddies it's like nah what's gonna work for me mm-hmm. i don't know i guess my unpopular opinion on relationships would be i think side chicks are good for the ecosystem of relationships i'm dead Cynthia. i can't believe you said that it's the truth like it's the truth I feel like I've seen it firsthand. you know what I mean from a, a friendship position where I've seen some of my guy friends have side chicks I've been in that position where I've been the side chick before and it's like when you're not talking to that guy or they don't have that outlet they argue with their girls so much more and they're just mm-hmm. not as happy and then it's like oh when you got something on the side that is a very unpopular opinion because I could, we could all be a side bitch whatever we don't you could ne- sometimes you just don't know yeah. but do I think that they're good for the relationship hell no I think I, they are hell no they are the worst thing for mine I wish there was no side bitches in the world like every if every girl was like oh no I'm not gonna be a no. side bitch yeah. then who are they gonna fuck when right. they're trying to cheat on you That's it would be better without you i mean hey i'm not a, a side bitch all the time it was one dude you know what i mean one but, dude what time okay, he entrapped me she's the side bitch advocate yeah, you're like, I'm like hey, okay <laughs> i mean there's always gonna be positions where you're in like where somebody has somebody maybe you know and right. it's nice but ultimately no nobody deserves to be a side bitch but you know i saw a statistic my homegirl was talking about where it's like it's not even enough men in the world for every woman to have a husband there's gonna be some side bitches like there's not even enough for all of us to have a husband but not all of us are even straight anyway like a lot of men women are gay now so there's enough there's enough so you have to get a bitch and be monogamous no that's not what i'm saying (laughs) okay (laughs) but the 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 thing would be you don't cheat on me. I don't cheat on you. We're in a monogamous relationship. We're married. We have kids. The end. But it's like, I feel like because everybody's so thirsty for fucking love or pussy or money or whatever, they'll like spread themselves thin to everybody when it's just like, damn, like just be with the person that you want to be with. Damn. Like, even if you're not going to be with them for the rest of your life, at least be honest and be loyal during the time that you're with them. If you're only going to be them for, with them for two years, then be with them for real, for real, for two years. All that extra shit. If you want to do that, do that shit by yourself. Don't be in a relationship with people for wasting their time. But again, this is an unpopular opinion. I have popular opinions on love, you know? John Legend is great for wedding songs. I don't fucking know. Like, you know <laughs> normal opinions, but yeah, that was an unpopular one. I hope yeah. we helped y'all, you know. Yeah. Look at love differently. For real. I mean, 
You just gotta deal with the cards that you're dealt. Mm -hmm. That's the best you can do, right? Yeah. If you in love in, right now, raise your hand. Three men are in love in this room. So three men are in love. Out of one, two, three, four, five, six. None of the women. Oh. None of the women. So. Well, I mean, yeah, in love. Pull the dick out, pull the dick out, pull the dick out. Where my baby daddy at? Where my baby daddy at? Number two, number three, number four. Where you at? Put it, uh, put a baby in my cat. Where you at? Oh. oh. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm ovulating, sorry. <laughs> I'm ovulating too. Ovulation crap. Yes, we did. Yes. <laughs> you know when your cycle synchronizes. Yes, that's how you know you're real friends. Yeah, yes. yeah. Well, thank you for watching Hot Tea, the <laughs> hottest place to be. Let us know what you guys thought of this episode. Give us your unpopular opinions. Comment below. Make sure you're subscribed. And we'll see y'all later. Bye.